A new Roblox strategy game is set out for release in a couple of months, and so far it looks pretty promising. The game is to be called World of Revolution and is planned to be playable from 1763 until 1900s, but more will probably be added later. And I'm here to give you info on all the things going on and some breakdowns on the game, so why not begin with their two summaries so far. look a bit complicated to people unfamiliar with Paradox games, which is probably most of the Rise of Nations fanbase except Hearts of Iron 4, but it gets really simple when you break it down. I am guessing that the tax income is going to be similar to EU4, where you can provide or remove benefits slash privileges to different social standing classes. So the discrepancy in the income is going to be affected by how much of the population is in each class or how much money each group has, and privileges like decreasing taxes for nobility in exchange you get more manpower things like that. Now this is really interesting. We will get advisors which will probably be necessary since they give bonuses in percent form. At least in EU4, I don't know how they're gonna do this in this game but I'm guessing it's the same. Which can be really OP later in the game. For example, plus 10% taxes on 1 million income, that's insane. And debt interest, are we finally getting loans? That would be awesome because that would make people more wary of the enemies since they can bring out money if needed. Example Russia. Now this screen just screams pure awesomeness. This is all I ever wanted from a strategy game. Items affected by the market. I have no idea how they're gonna implement this or if it is what I think it is, but if they manage to somehow create a trading mechanic where the items are affected by how much is currently flowing through the market so the prices inflates or deflates depending on how much people sell it for would be insane. Because the AIs would also have to do this if they're gonna make this happen. So I'm not gonna put my hopes up but it would be awesome. This is pretty self-explanatory, easy and sick starting screen, what more can I say? This research tab is very similar to Hearts of Iron 4, but with its own twist, research points. Again, this exists in Rise of Nations, you get research points through time, you can decide what you want to spend it on, but this is gonna have a much bigger influence in this game, which I love. There's multiple options and more things to focus on and there's the ahead of time penalty where it will cost more research points the longer way it is. Probably, I don't know if it's this or that you can't get it if it's ahead of time, but either way it would bring a strategy into which specific types of troops you, you would be researching since the economy is probably going to be a small part in this game. Because we don't have things called electronics, which was a very frustrating part of Rise of Nations because it's just the main economy thing for every nation. They are planning to go all the way to the end of World War 2 which is in 1945, so I have no idea how they will deal with different government forms like republics, democracies and things like that, but I'm very hyped. I am just a bit skeptical on how they're gonna handle this because it seems like a bunch of coding and things to add. But I'm guessing it's gonna be added in the updates later on which will make it a lot easier. And that was the two summaries, so now I'll just provide with some sneak peeks and footage and some thoughts while I play calm music. Let's go. 
Now this is all I ever wanted from a game. A clickable starting screen. Why can't Rise of Nations have this? I have no idea. The naval system might seem scary, but it's very simple. It's just the same ships but in different ages. So like just upgrade with time and it will be fine. The same will probably counter the same things. And yeah. The footage in this game looks very clean and it's I just like the colors and you have rivers which is sick and it's gonna bring a whole lot level of new strategies and they have plains, mountains, the provinces have different buffs or debuffs. And I think most of the people playing this game is probably gonna play this game because you can form Prussia or you are Prussia. It's just sick. Around and from 